this is the most important thing I'm going to say about travel insurance today. I always say get your travel insurance ASAB as soon as you book for the simple reason many people leave it late but don't realise if something happens to them before they've got their travel insurance, once they've booked their holiday, they would have been covered if they had their travel insurance. Well, certainly right now this is crucial because if you plan to go to a country, let's take Jot's hypothetical, in six months' time he's going to Australia. Right now Australia's very like Britain, very few cases have been come over there, there's absolutely no reason you wouldn't travel to Australia right now and there's no foreseeability of change. But coronavirus is quick. We didn't know about China, what was it, six weeks ago, eight weeks ago? If when you went in the summer there was a major outbreak of coronavirus in Australia and the FCO had said don't travel, if you've got your insurance before that FCO, the FCO has said don't travel to that country, then providing that your insurance company covers it, you would be covered. If you try to get insurance after that announcement, you won't get insurance and you won't be covered. What so get your insurance ASAB and if, you haven't, if you've booked already and you haven't got it... Now, but what about if you're listening to this and you've, you've you've used an insurance company that hasn't been named as one of the ones that will pay out because of coronavirus? Can you change your insurance? Well, you could change. You could get secondary. You could ask them for an add-on piece of cover. All of those are eventualities. I mean, the problem if it's I say now call your insurer, we're going to have a lot of insurance lines blocked. Go and go onto your insurance company's website and see if it's got an announcement about coronavirus. We are doing the work on it. We will be putting the work into this, but it is a long, slow process. And it it does not just depend on the insurer, it depends on the policy that you have. So this is absolutely something should be covering those who have annual policies. You're going to need to check whether your annual policy will cover you for travel disruption in the event of a pandemic and in the event of the FCO saying that you can't travel. Some do, some don't. I'm sorry I, I, to give you the depends answer, but it depends. But Jot, are you still with us? I was just going to ask, are we likely to get stung for the disruption add-on? Yeah, well, it... With, with the companies who offer that, it will cost you more, yes. Uh, but I would say right now, I think that's a rather sensible precaution. We get insurance to cover, look, you know, insurance is always the policy that we pay for that we hope it will be a complete waste of time. That's the hope. But I think we are in such a period of uncertainty. It's so early days. We just don't know where this is going. We, as I say, but we don't know if we're looking at triviality. In, in, uh, with hindsight, it'll be trivial or with hindsight, it'll be more substantial.